Hey, what's up YouTube, Stratos here, and today I figured I'd go through and do a deck profile of the hero deck that I've been using in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Alright, so I got the deck pulled up, and starting with staples, we are going to start with, we got three Ash Blossom Joyous Spring. Uh, this card's good if you want to stop your opponent from getting stuff to their hand or special summoning cards from their deck. It's very useful. We got three Infinite Impermanence, uh, just when you need to negate your opponent's uh, monster effects. Great hand trap, obviously very good staple i apologize for uh my voice i'm still getting a over a bit of a cold unfortunately uh and then going into the heroes let's start with uh vision heroes we've got vision hero increase we're only running one of these because unfortunately if you draw it it's kind of a brick you're not gonna be able to do anything it with it if it's in your hand most of the time so we only run one because we just want to get in our spell and trap card zone uh for other vision heroes we're running two vision hero vion once you get increase from your spell and trap card zone and into your monster card zone, especially something buy on it, it sets up a lot of great combos. And lastly, we're running a vision hero. We're running three vision hero Ferris. Uh, this card's great for getting your Vion obviously into your spell and trap card zone, and then getting your whole combo set up with your other vision heroes. It's uh most of the time you draw into it, you're not gonna be a, you're just not gonna stall anything. It's always gonna be good for setting up a combo. I mean, honestly. Getting Ferris and Shadow Mist straight in your in your first hand, you're pr looking pretty good for the rest of the duel. For Elemental Heroes, we're running three of the namesake of this channel. This is where I got the name for my channel. We're running three Elemental Heroes Stratos. Classic. Uh, great for getting heroes to your hand. If your opponent has some back row stuff that you want to get rid of, basically a free MST if you got other heroes on the field. It's fantastic. We're only running two Shadow Mist. For those of you who remember, Shadow Mist came out in the Mast Hero uh, structure deck that came out, oh uh, gosh, I want to say 2015, 2016. Not as useful as Stratos, I find, but being able to get a Mask Change also is pretty great. And basically, you're just going to Mask Change this into Dark Law at some point, hopefully, just to mess with your opponent because Dark Law is great. Uh, running one, Elemental Hero Solid Soldier. Honestly, very rarely do I actually end up using Solid Soldier, but on the chance that you draw Solid Soldier and you get a Shadow Mist right to your hand, but you don't have a mask change or anything. Great setup right there. And we're also running one Liquid Soldier. Uh, Liquid Soldier, once again, just like Solid Soldier. Not used all that often, but on the off chance that you draw into it and you need to get something back from your graveyard, it's fantastic. And then if you use it as a fusion material monster, uh, you get to draw two cards, discard one, which can set up more stuff in the future. And the last on the Tahir that running in the main deck is Honest Neos. Honest Neos is great for OTKs and FTKs, and then also if your opponent attacks into one of your monsters that you don't have the attack points to deal with, Honest Neos is a great way to deal with that. <clears throat> and then lastly, we're running two Destiny Hero Malicious. This is the only Destiny Hero we're running in the main deck. Uh, it helps set up a lot of Link stuff. And we're running one Evil Hero Adusted Gold as well, because that sets up our Malicious Bane, which is one of the boss monsters of the deck. All right, moving on to spells, we're running two Polymerization. Uh, polymerization, I don't find I use all that much, but it is great to have just in case you need another out, you need an optional uh, situational thing that you have to deal with or you just want to get another big monster out. So polymerization is always great to have. Running one Reinforcement of the Army. Running one Miracle Fusion. Um, this card's great if you get Sunrise out because you get Miracle Fusion straight to your hand and then you can just use the materials they use for Sunrise to get another hero out, which is great. Leads to a lot of big, you get multiple fusions out in one turn, get a lot of beaters out, a lot of boss monsters, and that ends up uh, being able to OTK your opponent. Running two E Emergency Call. I find that you don't really need more than the more than this, uh, just because you already have Shadow Mist and Stratos to search things out, as well as a Rota. So getting more than two kind of clogs up your hand a little bit. I find that two is a good balance. Running one, a hero lives. Now, this card, you only really ever use it if you open it in your first hand. Paying half your life points is a really, really big cost, obviously. But if you're missing one essential piece to a combo, <clears throat> or you just want to right out of the gate, just get a Stratos or a Shadow Mist right to your field, just with no other cost, it's fantastic way to open up the game. One Dark Calling. Dark Calling is great. It's just a better form of Miracle Fusion, in my opinion. And you can obviously get out your big boss monster, Evil Hero Malicious Bane, with this one, which is fantastic. One Fusion Destiny, which in my mind is the most broken.
broken fusion card we have ever gotten in this game aside from maybe future fusion but this one the drawback of it is immediately countered by the card that you're going to be summoning with it so it's just awesome we're running three lightning storm uh it's great if your opponent opens up and has a lot of back row or if they have a couple monsters in attack mode you can just immediately start by wiping part of their board it's a fantastic way to start out start out your first turn and then we're running three mask change um, typically you'll only use maybe one in a game, but it's great to be able to have options later, late game. If your first push with a lot of heroes doesn't work out. And then lastly, we're running two called by the grave staple here to get rid of some of your opponent's monster effects. Moving on to the extra deck. We're starting with two dark law. I run two, uh, just because if you get out your first one and something happens to it and you still want to be able to mess with your opponent's hand, their graveyard. Dark Law is a great way to do that. It's one of my favorite cards to open up with just because your opponent has to really focus on Dark Law if they want to keep going with whatever they're trying to do. Especially if your opponent has a deck that focuses on recycling things in the graveyard, Dark Law really screws them over. Next, running one Destiny Hero Dangerous. Uh, this card I find I don't use as much now just because uh, Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer is out, but I still need to figure out something to swap it with. Probably. I'll probably make an update video at some point, but right now we're running one dangerous. One Elements of Hero Sunrise. It's great to be able to, you know, boost your monster's attack if you're going for OTKs. And then you also get a free Miracle Fusion to your hand. And obviously you can just destroy one monster that your opponent controls for free, basically, when either in your battle phase or theirs. Absolute Zero is great for board wipes. Uh, I find I use it very situationally. Like if I somehow i'm in a situation where i just i don't have anything really on my field my opponent has a lot of monsters i can just use elements lab elements hero absolute zero wipe their board uh provided i have a mask change as well using elements hero acid that's a complete complete board wipe for them so they're starting from the ground up just like you were before running one elements hero the shining this card's great for obviously uh miracle fusion it gains attack as soon as those materials leave the graveyard one vision hero adoration uh this card is pretty useful if your opponent has a really big or beefy monster or if you just take and use its effect to beef up your malicious bane and then use malicious bane's effect to get rid of even more monsters on their side of the field mass hero diant i find i don't really ever use again it's one of those situational things where i love one of the things i love about heroes is that you're able to have so many different options to go into just in case something happens, in case you need it. And when he destroys a monster in battle and sent to the graveyard, you can use his special you can use his effect, special summon one shadow mist, and then just keep going from there. One Escarado. Now this card I find pretty helpful just because if you use Fusion Destiny and you lock yourself into only being able to special summon dark monsters, it's great to be able to have another thing to go into. Uh, one Anki, probably could swap this out if you wanted to. I don't really use it all that much, but again, just nice people to have this as an option. And now the two big boss monsters of the deck, Malicious Bane. Once you get Malicious Bane out, unless your opponent can banish it or negate its effect, they're screwed because this thing destroys all their monsters that have less attack than it, and it only gets stronger from there, and it also can't be destroyed by card effects or battles. So even if they get out a bigger monster, you still can do things. That being said, I have had a lot of issues with Lava Golem with this card, which has not been fun. And this is probably my favorite and one of the newest additions to the hero lineup, Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. Like I said earlier, Fusion Destiny combo with this card is just insane because you get Fusion Destiny, you get this card out for free, and then from there, its effect just keeps saving it over and over and over and over and over again, as well as your opponent's monsters losing attack for every hero uh, card in your graveyard, which is just ridiculous. Comboed with that, he's got the ability to just destroy one of your opponent's cards for free, and then he comes back during your next turn. It's, it's, it's insane. He's one of the most insane hero monsters to ever be created. And last, we got two links. We got Extra Hero Cross Crusader. This card's great for setting up with, uh, obviously, with your Destiny Hero Malicious. And then you get to search out a card for free. This guy's typically how I end up searching out uh, a Dusted Gold and then discarding him because I know I have a Malicious in the graveyard. And when I discard my Malicious Band, I get my Dark Calling. 
And then from there, I just go into Malicious Bane super easily. And last is Dread Decimator. Now this card, I typically go and I use Cross Crusader as two materials and link with one other card that I've got lying on the field. Because typically you end up having Vision Hero Vion who's super weak by him, super weak, or you end up having uh, Varus just sitting there and you're like, all right, I need something stronger. Decimator comes out, can do piercing damage, which is fantastic. And it also boosts up the rest of your hero monsters. So typically when you get Destroy Phoenix Enforcer out, Dread Decimator, if you have Sunrise out, even better. But typically Malicious Bane, you got all you got three, if not four of those, and you're boosting your opponent, you're boosting your attack points over and over again with several cards there. And as well, you are lowering your opponent's attack. And then from there, Malicious Bane just gets stronger and stronger and stronger via his effect. It's fantastic. All right, so that's a deck list. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some uh, footage from a live stream that I did very recently. If you want to check that out, twitch.tv slash thatguystratos or here on this YouTube channel. I typically also live stream here. I'm going to take some footage from there that'll go through and show some of the combos that you can do with the deck, show what the situations look like, what your opening hands, what hands you probably want, which ones maybe you don't. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Yeah, emergency call. All right, so. You got some choices to make here. Whatever. No. Destroy all spell and traps. Yep. It's all gonna work out in the end. I swear, paying 4,000 life points will be worth it eventually. <coughs> Boom. Yes, we're gonna add one hero monster. Right, we're gonna go. We got malicious pain. And then we're gonna summon. Shadow Mist, and we're gonna Mask Changer into Dark Law. Yes, and now we're gonna go and we're gonna get Ferris. There we go. Ferris. We're gonna activate his effect. We're gonna send Malicious to the graveyard. And Vision Hero increases in our grave or er, in our hand, so we can't even. Activate his effect. It sucks, but I believe we go with Cross Crusader here, right? <clears throat> this is all working out. This is all working out. Bam! Activate the effect of Cross Crusader. Yes. Now we take this and we put it here. And now activate his effect again. And this should let us search Dusted Gold. Let's go. Bam. Bam goes the boozle. Dusted Gold and Malicious. You will hear out Malicious Bane, one of the most, one of my favorite cards, probably. And activate effects. You're there. Now, what are we looking at? How much damage are we looking at here? Alright. And honestly, yeah, it's just to go a little bit overkill here. And they forfeited. I wanted the satisfaction. Come on. Alright, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. If you want to see some more videos like this, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And hey, comment, what's your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel deck? Because I, I really want to know. And if there are any other deck profiles that you guys want to see, leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to check them out and build them for you guys. Anyway, this is Stratus out. See you guys in the next one. Peace.